Hello and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to make a detail from this uh, right here. So you have our 3D section and uh, if you go to the 3D uh, the section itself it looks like this and right here you see that we have a call out to make a uh, detail from it. So in, on a sheet it will look like this so we're gonna do that step by step together and um, show you how it's done so uh, yeah let's get uh, straight into it so how do we start first you go to your section like we have here and to make a call out well very simple we go to the view tab right here then we click on call out and then your arrow is a uh, cross and then you just click once and then the area where you want to get the call out from and then click the second time and move this a little bit upward so it's readable and you can uh, still uh, move this call out how far you want and how big you want so that's uh, a nice thing but the second thing how do you get into the call out well you have two options you can go right click and go to view or in your uh, project browser you have right here with sections have you section call out one and if you double click on that you can also go to the view so I will go to the view right here so right click go to view and then we will be in the call out so now you are in the call out but um, this isn't looking uh, very good to be honest <laughs> so we need to make it more sexy so um, how can we do that very simple I can use my view view template right here I click on it then I go to all click apply and boom we have a whole other um, other view but you can also do it manually if you don't have a view template so we're gonna do that for you guys so you can just uh, get it done the same and how do we do that very simple you go to right here this cube then graphic display options and first things first we're gonna set this box on so we have smoother lines and the next one we will cast uh, shadows ambient shadows and voila this is all this is all look, already looking uh, better and for the depth queuing because this one is further away we're gonna show depth click apply and to see how this is faded in the background and at least but last we're gonna use consistent colors voila looks already much better than click ok or you can just do it save as a view template give it a name on it and you will instantly have this view right like you see here just click ok and of course save it guys and right here we're gonna set the detail line to fine so we see the connections and the pipe so that's the first step to make your callouts already a bit more sexy first things first we're gonna set the dimensions on it so we're gonna do dy for dimensions and i will use this one just a regular one and just use the tab key to get the distance that you want then just click on it now we're gonna use the arrow for the total width of course just use the tab key so we can select the right one voila oh voila and this is all right now for the next one we will use a dimension right here and a dimension right here exactly as we want and then right here for the materials voila looking great and again a arrow for it voila great gonna extend a little and this we will move right here voila with arrow keys i did that 
and the next thing is that we are going to you to draw our um, yeah roofing or EPDM for uh, the water so we can use detail lines DL then I'm gonna search for my EPDM mm, right here I will give it an offset of 0 0.4 so we can see it better and I'm gonna use the space bar then just 45 degrees zoom a little bit out then we're gonna use right here voila then I'm gonna hit the space bar oh hit the space bar again and move it with this then I will um, drag this to down with the arrow keys so they come right here voila this is already looking nice in my opinion and now we're gonna draw right here a triangle so we have uh, not a 90 degree um, yeah corner so else it will be hard to place the um, uh, EPDM or roofing on it so we're gonna go to the annotation tab and then fill it region then we're gonna search for wood and I think mm, one will be good and then we're gonna draw a rectangle like you see here voila this will be all right and then I'm gonna change it not to invisible lines but for gray tree voila and this looks already fine <laughs> yeah nice uh, the next thing that we're going to do is of course uh, name every material that's in it so let's start adding some text now I will drag this a little bit more downwards so we go to the annotation app and right here we go to text voila just place it here and we're gonna name it like this well I'm not going to type everything else the video will be too long so I will copy it from the other detail into this one and voila there we go move it a little bit downwards now again we're gonna use a detail line so it matches this right here and of course change the detail line <laughs> and two four voila and this is looking awesome then again we're gonna add some uh, uh, fillet regions and we're gonna use um, solid gray four then of course a circle oh, right here and this will do one voila click ok and then we're gonna copy it how many times we want of course voila and this is already looking good now we're gonna do the same for here well for this guys you can make a uh, annotation uh, symbol um, so you don't need to uh, draw it over and over again but I did it now so you can also do it by yourself so the next here is the, the panel itself so again detail line and then we're gonna straight we're gonna go straight through here so we have every material that we want then we're gonna use match properties select this one and voila this is what we need we're gonna copy this text right here then I'm gonna copy the text so I don't need to so I don't need to type it voila there we go I will move it a little bit to the left with the arrow keys of course this also and this also again with arrow keys you can just adjust it where you want then for the dots we're gonna copy it also and place one here one here and here then again for the panel itself and we go to the line through here 
So that's already looking uh, very nice. The next thing that we're going to do is, of course, um, name this, what's on the top of it, and of course the pipes and the beams. So to this, to annotate those ones, we go to the text, just randomly place the text right here, and then we're gonna go for uh, right here, okay, and then select the text, and then we're gonna add a arrow right here, then just move it here and voila make it sure it's visible right here and then just copy it for the next one and the next one we will name voila then move it a little bit down and do it like here voila and the last one we're gonna go to voila then of course we're gonna oh uh, i will do it for here so it's more readable of course and oh, voila this will be a better and i will do it through here voila move it along to here then just right here and move it this one right here voila and then a other dimension so we have this and this and we will use not arrows but this and i see here we're gonna move it a little bit downwards of course then the this one voila and this already looks uh, very nice now we're gonna uh, set the heights for it so we go to spot elevation and right here we need of course oh not with a leader i don't want that and voila i will move it right here voila this already looking nice rift plane again for this one then create similar and this will be nice so we have both of them right here now the next thing that we are going to do is of course tag the materials and we're gonna do it tag by category and we will use a leader of course and for this one also so we're gonna select this one here and we call the free the end so we can move it to here then use the tab key for this tag and move it right through here and also free end voila and then we're gonna use another and we're gonna use that for the pipe and not a leader voila right here and yeah i think that's quite it oh we forgot one thing and that's the slope of course voila that's already on it and i think that's it i didn't forget anything nope and then for the finishing touch i just hide it and yeah that's the detail guys so we made it together and if you will uh, put it on a sheet like this so you see here our detail it will look exactly like this so i hope you guys enjoyed it learned from it and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching see you in the next one bye bye